नमस्कार आई अमित कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल इन आई एम डीज वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो इन दिस ब्रीफिंग वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वट वेदर हैज हैपन ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वीक एंड वट विल बी द वेदर आउटलुक फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट लास्ट वीक देन डिप्रेशन द डीप डिप्रेशन विच ओरिजिनेटेड ओवर पार्ट ऑफ वेस्ट सेंट्रल वे दैट वॉज द मेन वेदर सिस्टम विच gave intense amount of rainfall even extremely heavy rainfall during the week so if you see the path of depression then on 8th of september the depression was formed over parts of west central bay and then it got intensified on 8th itself in a deep depression and then crossed uh, near puri coast on 9th of september between 10:30 to 11:30 ist and then it moved across odisha chatisgarh and madhya pradesh where it became where it weakened into a well mark low but this depression this system got reintensified on 11th of september it became a depression at 3 utc of 11 of september that is at 8:30 ist and then it moved in north northwestward movement and it is uh, currently prevailing over parts of south uh west up and adjoining northwest mp so if you see the rainfall observed then you, in this map you can see that over vidarbha chatisgarh and odisha on 10th of september extremely heavy rainfall occurred and over madhya pradesh on 11th of september extremely heavy rainfall occurred if you talk about heavy uh, very heavy rainfall then on himachal pradesh on 6th east rajasthan on 5th 7th 9th gujarat 6th 10th 11th madhya maharashtra on 10th telangana on 5th 7th and 8th vidarbha on 9th then east mp on 10th bihar on 5th shwb on 5th arunachal pradesh on 11th and odisha on 8th and 9th and chatisgarh on 9th and 11th of september very heavy rainfall was recorded and this same thing is reflected in this 7 days accumulated rainfall map also where you can see that on parts of southwest uh, odisha then south chatisgarh parts of east mp some parts of northwest vidarbha you can see that even extremely heavy rainfall was recorded over these regions during this week if we talk about the uh, category of rainfall during this week then you can see that around 17 subdivisions which corresponds to around 53% of total uh, indian land mass or uh, received normal to above normal rainfall during this period and uh, during this week there is no portion of this country where rainfall has not occurred if we talk about in number of in in terms of our normal rainfall then the actual rainfall which was received during this week as a country as a whole was 50.9 mm the normal is 44.6 mm and it is 14% above normal and so the rainfall over whole country is in normal in this weekly map accumulated map also you can see that this whole region from where the depression moved you can see in blue and dark blue colors that ex- normal uh, access to uh, large excess rainfall has happened and the deficient amount of rainfall w- has happened over e parts of eastern india which comprised of bengal jharkhand bihar then our east up and some parts of peninsular india mainly karnataka rail seema and large deficit of rainfall has occurred over Uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Andaman Nicobar and parts of Assam Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh and Jammu Kashmir if we talk about seasonal rainfall so from 1st of june till 11th of uh, september if we talk about the uh, rainfall situation which has occurred in this southwest monsoon then you can see that around uh, say, uh, means 83% of total area has received normal to above normal rainfall during this season so the actual rainfall which is received is 386 uh, 8 36.7 mm of rainfall against the normal of 77.25 which is 8% above normal so the rainfall observed is in normal category and the same thing you can see in this uh, our uh, seasonal map also that except bihar arunachal pradesh punjab himachal pradesh and jammu kashmir all remaining parts of country have received above normal rainfall 
during this southwest monsoon season up to 11th of september if we talk about the forecast for next two weeks then this is the forecast for next one week in this you can see that as the depression currently is uh, over southwest U up so you can see that above normal rainfall can happen over central parts of india north india northwest india during this week then there is a probability that another cyclonic circulation or a depression will be forming over uh, parts of uh, uh, gwb coastal areas and adjoining ba bangladesh so in this extended range forecast for week one you can see that enhanced rainfall activity over that region so normal uh, uh, above normal activity uh, rainfall is likely to happen over most parts of northwest india normal to above normal rainfall over most parts of east india and for the remaining parts of india uh, below normal activity is likely to prevail except parts of madhya pradesh which i have just talked about if we see week 2 then in week 2 you can see that normal rainfall activity normal to above normal rainfall activity is likely to prevail over parts of south peninsular india and for remain rest of the country below normal rainfall activity is likely to happen in week 2 and also in week 2 conditions are likely to become favorable for withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some parts of northwest india in the second half of the week 2 if we talk about maximum temperature outlook then you can see that as the system is prevailing over central india that is over parts of southwest up so you can see that there is a dip in maximum temperature there because of enhanced clouding and in week two as the system uh, uh, when there will be no system and conditions are becoming favorable for withdrawal of monsoon then you can see that the maximum temperature is increasing on some parts of northwest india if you talk about minimum temperature then in minimum temperature also the same criteria uh, situation is scenario is uh, there that uh, over parts of central india you can see that uh, the temperatures are in the range of 18 to 22 degrees celsius and but on week two you can see that there is a tendency of rise in minimum temperature or most parts of the country in terms of cyclogenesis you can see that uh, currently a system in week one a depression is present currently over southwest parts of up so you can see that there is a probability of uh, that depression and then a system which is coming from myanmar there is a probability that that depression uh, that system can also uh, intensify into a low pressure system and subsequently into a depression in week one and late uh, in the initial stages of week two then you can join us on our mosum website and subscribe to our social media handles where you will be updated with the latest information namaskar